Okay, today we're going to be discussing yet maybe another controversial uh, message that I'm sure many of my knife making friends will be very happy that I'm making. And today we're going to be talking about unpopular opinion when it comes to bushcrafting and when it comes to tool selection and when it comes to, you know, what types of tools, what quality you should choose and so forth. Now, in bushcrafting, there's always many ways to skin a cat. And to those who are more industrious or maybe more clever or maybe more capable, have better uh, ability to do different things, this may not apply to everyone. Or what I'm about to say may not apply to everyone, but I think by and large, most people will find this to be a common truth. Uh, and you know, if you're busy, you don't have the time to DIY your gear as much as you'd like, or maybe as much as you could, or maybe as much as it needs to be done. Um, this is probably where you're gonna find yourself. So, like I said, we're talking about an unpopular opinion, and that is going to be in regards to the tool set of a bushcrafter, as I struggle to get my hatchet out, the tool set of a bushcrafter, and how you should prioritize your gear. So, with that out of the way, let's jump into the unpopular opinion. Now, getting straight to it, what I mean by this is that through my experience, I do have expensive knives and I do like my expensive knives. I do have, <coughs> I do have my expensive knives and I do like my expensive knives. Here is my Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. Love this knife to death. It is one of my knives that I take almost every single time I'm out in the wilderness, even if I have other knives. It is just one of my go-tos. It is just that good. But in my experience, with all the experience I've collected throughout the years of doing this, I think the reality is that knives are definitely overhyped or overemphasized in bushcrafting and even survival. Now, I'm not going to say that a good knife isn't valuable. A good knife is certainly worth its weight in gold and a skilled user of knives can get a great many things accomplished. So don't necessarily take this message as me saying, you know, you shouldn't invest in a good knife. There's a time for everything and investing in a good knife should be on that list. However, when it comes to bushcrafting, I found that investing in really quality axes, hatchets, and saws should come before investing in a very high quality knife. Now that doesn't mean you should go out without a knife, but I'm just saying that there are many times where something like this, you know, $30, $40 more uh, bushcraft black can get done just about all the jobs that this Bark River Knives Bushcrafter can. Now, of course, this Bushcrafter being made out of CPM3V will hold an edge much longer. Of course, it'll be more comfortable to use, a little bit more stout, better engineering goes into it. But by and large, when it comes down to the you know down and dirty tasks of bushcrafting, whether you're gutting grouse or you're you know cutting up you know filleting in a way, kind of you know cutting out the breast of a grouse or you know starting a fire, stripping bark off a tree, notching wood, you know this bark this mora bushcraft black will get that done just fine. And once again, it's not the best, but it's serviceable. And if you go with something like this Bushcraft Black, say you have a budget of, you know, let's just say $350. This is $37. Whereas say you have a budget of $300, $350, this Bushcraft Black is over 200 depending on the option these are 250 dollars so that would leave you with a hundred dollars if you had a budget you know a reasonable budget for good tools you know going with something like this leaves you you know still over 300 dollars and you know this tool here this uh gba wildlife hatchet is about 160 dollars and this silky here is about anywhere from you know 35 to 50 dollars depending on which blade you go with and you know which length which thickness you know the uh gomboys have different lengths different thicknesses and different blade shapes so these are a little bit more uh very varying in price but you know this one here is about 50 bucks and so so what i would say and what i would highly recommend is definitely go 
with a high quality hatchet or axe, you know, something even like this uh, Holtzbrook Anabe uh, in here, you know, this big guy is still, you know, a very righteous option. So, you know, even the Holtzbrook Anabe that I have sitting in my pack, you know, is another great option. And it's, you know, once again, about $150. So if you had about $300 to spend or $350, you know, definitely spend a lot of money on a quality, you know, axe or hatchet and a quality saw because when it comes down to a lot of bushcrafting and a lot of what, you know, you see here, you know, like these larger crafts like this fire reflector, this, you know, kind of makeshift cover here and, you know, this whole camp, a lot of it was put together using a saw and a hatchet or a saw and a small axe. And so these knives, while very important, uh, you know, you can get away with doing a lot of the tasks that a knife or a camp knife is required with something definitely more affordable. So it's an unpopular opinion. And once again, uh, in the bushcrafting community, we are bombarded by reviews, uh, you know, even bushcrafters making their own specialty knives. And once again, if that knife serves a purpose and it or if you just like collecting knives or if you're a subscriber to that youtuber it might be worth going for those knives i mean there are some good ones out there there are some good designs out there but by and large you know a 35 dollar mora is going to be serviceable for everything you need to do out here you know once again talking about a camp knife this is going to be able to serve that role just just about as well as this Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. The only difference is the Bushcrafter will eat up a Bushcrafting tool set budget a lot faster than the Bushcraft Black. And when it comes down to it, ultimately, like I said, a lot of your work is going to be done. Uh, when we talk about crafting and bushcrafting, you know a lot of your work is going to be done with hatchets, with saws, and with axes, like the one in this pack. So when it comes down to it, definitely aim your budget more towards quality hatchets, axes, and saws. And even some people might say, you know, they might try to bring up crafting. And, you know, you do quite a bit of crafting with a knife. But this, you know, small wildlife hatchet, you know, if you can make it work to do a lot of these crafts, I can't tell you how much even small fine-tuned crafting I do using this little hatchet. So it's a very versatile tool and it can get a lot of different jobs done. And honestly, uh, between this saw and this hatchet, I get about 80% of my work done out here in bushcrafting, and the other 20% is done with this knife. And once again, that 20% is things like notching, field dressing game animals, uh, gutting game animals, uh, lighting fires, and doing stuff like that. So the, that's about the 20% that this knife does. And once again, you know, a cheaper knife like this is certainly serviceable. So it's an unpopular opinion. And once again, you know, I, it may look a little bit convoluted because I sit here, you know, with my 200 plus dollar bush crafting knives and I say, that, oh, you don't need one. But really, you know, these are for what I would say a mature bush crafter who is dedicated to bush crafting. I mean, I come out here, you know, I build these things. I enjoy the woods. I've been doing this for eight years and you know clearly I'm dedicated to bushcrafting so it makes sense once you've been in the bushcrafting game a while to buy expensive bushcrafting knives and to buy expensive everything because this to me is a, certainly a passion so you know there are some people that like to buy expensive apparel there are certain people that like to buy expensive cars there's certain people that like to buy expensive guns and you know I just so happen to like or my passion is the wilderness so I just so happen to buy expensive you know knives and gear like this because that's my passion is what I do and so anyways I wanted to create this video uh, because I've created videos similar in the past but uh, they were a little bit more tailored to just don't buy expensive bushcrafting knives or just don't buy a lot of bushcrafting knives you know you make whatever you have work and those sentiments are still true but I think uh, honestly you know with the money that you save not buying expensive bushcrafting knives, you should try to diversify it into more expensive uh, other tools, like, so like a hatchet, an axe, saws, because those really do the lion's share of the work. And if you have a 
really sharp, really effective saw. It not only reduces fatigue, but also means that you get your job done faster. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't take your time and enjoy the wilderness, because I certainly do, but it's nice to not sit there and have to saw on a log, because to me, I'm not saying I don't enjoy doing those things, but there are certain things that I enjoy more, and sitting down at a completed campsite like this, sitting down and, you know, enjoying what I've built, that's the part of enjoying nature I get. I don't get much enjoyment out of uh, sawing up logs for firewood or, you know, things like that. So that is my opinion, and it's probably not a popular opinion. And once again, you know, there are knife companies out there, good knife companies that would rather you spend all your money on, you know, a Tops or a LT Right or something like that. They'd rather have you spend your money on that instead of, you know, <clears throat> Spending your money on, you know, a quality, spending your money on a quality saw or a quality hatchet or axe. So that's my unpopular opinion. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and hopefully this helps you guys choose good equipment. Once again, you can get away with really affordable knives to do the trick and it's a lot harder to get away with cheaper ha axes, hatchets, and saws. So anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.